So one of the first rides of 2021 was Wire Mesa, one of my go-to trails. In fact, it's the one I take all my guests to when they come visit St. George, Utah. But today we're doing a little bit different. We're going to ride it backwards. No, not that kind of backwards. We're actually going to go clockwise. But most people ride this counterclockwise. And I think it's fun both ways. But here you go, Wire Mesa. Enjoy. So in 2020, I completed my first full year on YouTube, and in that year, I did over 100 videos. So you probably have seen Wire Mesa, but this year, I'm going to do videos a little bit different and try and show you more of the trail so you get a better idea of what you have in front of you when you choose to ride it. Half mile climb, then some flow, then some tech. So at the end of this flow, there's a bit of a tech section. This is considered black, but it's really not that hard. Everything is rollable, but if it's above your comfort level, at the top, which I'm about to turn around and climb back up this because I like the challenge, there's actually a sign that says easy way and more difficult way. So there's something for everybody here. You can challenge yourself or you can ride around it. While you're up here, make sure you check out the views. That's straight ahead, Zion National Park. So the trail you see in front of me is pretty sandy. It's mostly a sand based with a lot of rocks and even some loose marbly type cornering. So it's a great place to practice your flat turns. So as I stated from the beginning that most people ride this counterclockwise and the advantage to counterclockwise is that most of the tech is actually flowing from the start. There are a couple spots that you've got to get up, but they're more fun to go down and I think that's the reason why I like to do clockwise. You've got this little technical section here which of course is more fun down than it is up and then the next section as well which is actually a punchy little climb um, but you do have a ride around option. Uh, but I like to go down this and then turn around and come back up like I did the first tech section. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the place I like to take my out-of-town guests. My buddy Oscar, who I met through Instagram, is from Texas. And he was up for the challenge and he really enjoyed this trip. Also, the third person shots that you see most likely came from Oscar. He's quite a good videographer. Here's another fast flowy section that almost is a jump. A little ramp right there with a transition about 15 feet away that makes for a fun trip. In fact, it's so nice, I turn around and I hit it twice. We got six and a half miles in, so the bulk of it is over. We got a couple more punchy climbs. Keep in mind that this trail does go both ways, so occasionally you're going to run into somebody. Hi, Oscar. One more punchy climb, then a few up and overs, and then you're back to the parking lot. One of the cool things about this trail is it's only 7.2 miles. There's never really a big climb to tire you out, so it's nice sometimes to be able to stop back in the parking lot grab some snacks, have some lunch, and then turn around and do it the opposite direction, and it feels like a completely different trail.
So hopefully now after watching this video, it is a trail that you want to come ride while visiting Southern Utah. Wire Mesa. It is really fun for the whole family and it can challenge even the better riders. Thanks for watching. Remember, get off the couch, get out and ride. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and now a little bit of the B-roll. RMBL, riding my best life. 